Network engineering is easier than you think. And trust me, I've been in networking for over four years and I hear this time and time again. Oh, network engineering is too hard. Oh, network engineering is too difficult. Let me tell you this right now. Network engineering is an easy field if you make it easy for yourself. There isn't that many things you have to know. You just have to know the right things and you have to learn the right things. Why do people make this claim that networking is a very difficult field to learn? And the reason they say this is because you have to learn a quite a bit of different things. And also a lot of networking is abstract. And what do I mean by abstract? abstract, basically what you're learning is essentially stuff that you probably have never seen before. And I know this is crazy to say, but most of the stuff you're not going to see, you never learn about subnetting in school. You learn, you never learn what an IP, like you see an IP address, but you don't know what it is. You don't even know what a router or a switch is most of the time. Like it's all behind the scenes. That's all what other people do. Like other engineers, you have no idea. Like what is behind the scenes when it comes to the internet? When you think of the internet, you never think to stop to think like what is happening behind the scenes. And that's why people think networking is difficult because you have to learn all these protocols like VLAN, ARP, TCP, IP, OSPF model, whatever. OSPF model, crazy, but I'm going to say OSI model, but that's how you know. It's like, it's an alphabet soup of protocols that you have to learn. And you're like, what is DNS? Like there's, there's so many things you have to learn and um, it, it can be daunting, right? But you also have to remember you are learning a skill set that's always going to be with you no matter what field and tech you ever get into, right? And, and I say this because when you learn networking, you can easily transfer those into cloud, into software, into, I mean, there's so many different lanes you can get into in networking. And it's, it's just you taking that first step to make sure you actually learn the skills. And then when it comes to networking, what makes it hard or what make, what people think it makes it hard is they think it's boring, right? Like they say, oh, I don't want to get into networking because it's boring, right? And it's an, it, that's an interesting take because I, and I'm going to say this right now, I thought networking was boring too, right? And that's, that may just sound shocking. It wasn't, when I learned networking, it wasn't immediately like, oh my God, I want to do this. It was a, quite a bit of a boring field to me. It wasn't something that I was excited about. I, I mean, I seen my uncle work in it. I was excited about the salary that you can make as a network engineer, but actually the work, it didn't really interest me until I, I started diving in deeper. And that comes with any field, right? Just because a field sounds interesting now, maybe you're going to learn to hate it later on. Or maybe just because you don't like a field now, maybe later on, you're going to love it. And that's kind of how it was for me in networking, right? I, at first, I didn't like it. I was it was really boring. You're learning all these protocols and it seems like an older technology and it's not really new, like AI and, and like exciting. That was also one of the reasons why I, I would say struggle as well. But what made me go through is that I had the end goal in mind. You have to ask yourself, what is your end goal? Is your end goal to become a network engineer, then you're going to work your butt off to make sure you end up getting that goal, right? I don't want you guys wasting time, right? And if you spend all your time learning and you don't like learning, trust me, guys, then th this field in te tech in general is not, is not meant for you. If you think it's boring, you think it's not worth and it's not fun for you, then I wouldn't even recommend you get, even get into the field, right? If, of course, in the beginning, it's going to be boring. But if you have that negative mindset, always, you're always going to struggle, right? And if you always think something's hard, I can't do it. I always thought subnetting was impossible for me to learn. It took me so long to figure it out exactly how to how, how to do it. Then once I figured it out, I was just like, this is it. This is literally it. And uh, once you go on the job, you're like, this is it. People just use calculators. Like it's when you actually become a network engineer, you're going to realize that we are, people make it seem like it's an illustrious, like difficult job. It's not guys. It's very simple. It's very simple. Once you actually become a network engineer, it's not that difficult, right? And I've helped multiple students, right? Literally land jobs um, that are network engineers. I had students um, literally say they actually train you on the job. Like here's here's one post from one of my students who literally said they train him on the job. After um, my student Taiwo right here landed his job as a network engineer, he got trained on the job. So if you're afraid of like, you don't have experience or you're, you're gonna struggle on the job. Complete nonsense. When I got started, I was trained on the job. I learned exactly what I needed to learn and I got the job. It's that simple. So if you guys need help on how to become a network engineer, I have a program that literally helps anyone who is looking to get into a network engineer position. If you have no experience or have some experience and you guys need help, go ahead and click the link in my description where I show you step-by-step -step on how to become a network engineer. But with that being said, it's like, if you have the skills and, and you get the job, everything is, is going to be easier. The most important thing about networking is you have to understand that what, what you're doing is you are maintaining the infrastructure. Think high level. We're the ones who are providing internet access. Without us, there would never be network engineers. And the cool thing about this is when you actually learn networking, like actually learn it, you will learn to love it. No one says, I love networking right away. But once you love it, trust me, guys, you are going to have a high drive to want to learn more about this particular field, right? There's so much that's cool, that's involved. There's so much that you can learn learn. You can go and, and, and collect your certifications, your internet certification collections. You can go get your CCNA, CCUMP, and then eventually CCIE. So you can always see what's possible in this field. And um, you can learn a lot. It's a field that uh, I've grown to love. It's a field that's given me a, a great career. And it's a field that I think it's really easy to get into because there's just less competition as well. Most people are going to say, oh, networking is boring. I'm not going to get into networking. And I'm like, to them, I'm like, okay, cool. If you think networking is boring, okay, great. That's awesome. That's going to be even easier for me to land a 
job. You can go and pick whatever field you want. I'm gonna stick to network, right? And it's a very niche field. And one of the cool things about it is you can work at an MSP, you can work at an ISP, you can work at a doctor office, you can work at a hospital, you can work at an airport, you can work at multiple different places as a network engineer. And, I've, and a lot of my students, some of them work at ISP, some of them work at schools, some of them work at data centers, some of them work at hospitals. There's so many different places that a lot of my students work at, right? And the most important thing is that you can, once you learn the skill set, you can eventually jump into cloud, jump into networking. So it's like, you have all these options, you learn the skill set that's always going to be with you, it's always going to be valuable. And then you can use it to eventually jump into other other fields, right? Like it, it doesn't make sense why people think it's a hard field. It isn't that difficult. Yes, you do have to learn protocols. Yes, you do have to learn the OSI model. Yes, you have to understand the subnetting. But once you get past that technical phase where you're understanding this kind of abstractness of networking, once you actually dive deep and understand what, the, what you're doing, it's actually quite remarkable how, you know, we're able to get the internet created and how we're able to have it functioning. So it's an amazing field to work in. It's a field that I've enjoyed working at. You can work remote. You can you can work on site. You can make well over six figures. Um, it's all up to you. The real question is, are you willing to put in the work? Are you willing to learn? Are you willing to to, to spend time labbing? Because labbing is, is a one of the things that makes it hard because labbing is actually giving you actual experience. And no matter what you do in tech, no matter what field, the grass is never green on, on the other side. It doesn't matter. I've tried software. I've tried even tried to get into cloud. I learned a little bit about it. I remembered that it doesn't matter what field you pick. There is going to it is going to be a, a sense of difficulty. And if there was an easy field that everyone's running to, that field would have been oversaturated with a lot of beginners and it would be even harder to get into, right? So all I'm trying to say is networking is an easy field. The real question is, are you willing to put in the work to make it easy for yourself? And if you're not, you can just leave. But if you are, this is the right place for you. And I can show you exactly how to do that. Um, and if you guys need help and, and want to become a network engineer, I have a whole system that's going to be probably the easiest possible way to land a job as a network engineer in today's market. It's basically, I have a program. It basically teaches people just like you who need help on how to become a network engineer. If you guys want that guide and, and want a video on how to do that, click the link in my description where I show a quick video on exactly how to land a job as a network engineer. But with that being said, everyone, thank you guys so much for your time. It really means the world to me that you guys are watching my videos. Give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And with that being said, everyone, thank you guys so much for your time and peace.